Welcome to another AV Properties house tour. Are you ready to explore a property that gives off the secret garden vibe with its immensely spaced balcony and viewing deck? If you said yes, then let the little Mary and Colin come out and play. Welcome to another AV Properties house tour and today we will explore together this brand new, unusual in the most interesting way property that is sure to be a rare find. Before we start our house tour, please don't forget to click subscribe to AV Properties' official YouTube channel. Check us out on Facebook and on Instagram. It's at AV Properties underscore official for all of our fresh listings. My name is Apple Grace and let's start the house tour. Now before we take a look at what's inside this beautiful, gorgeous property, let us take a moment and enjoy the beauty of the facade. I mean, look at that it's ultra modern design you will see a lot of vertical slat uh, feature from the facade and it will remain consistent as we go inside the house and of course you're not gonna miss the beautiful accent light that you know adds flair to the beauty of the house especially at night but in any time of the day you're gonna see each side of this house's beauty so now guys are you ready to go inside and check out the rest of the house? All right, okay. So here we have our smart doorbell. So it has a camera, it has an audio. So you'll be seeing the people who are ringing your doorbell. Nice, right? Okay, so this property sits on a 480 square meter lot area with a total floor area of 357. And this covered carport can comfortably sit two to three cars. Nice, right? I mean, you can see this is lush, even the carport area. So now I'll be showing you the left or right side of this property. So this one is an elevated platform and then you see ornamental plants by the perimeter of your property and then you can add up some more flair into this area maybe you could put some coffee table or maybe a barbecue spot right there so here is the spot that will lead us to our covered lanai but we're gonna be checking that one out later on so now follow me as i show you the opposite side of this property. Okay, so after the carport area, let me show you the lush landscape front garden that runs up to the side. And then it's gonna lead us to the utility and service area. And also on this side, you will find our driver's room. So, this one is a door that will lead us to our driver's toilet and bath. And this door is the driver's room. And then this gated area is the utility and service area. So it houses your tank. And then this is also the laundry area. So you can see the drain is over there. Now guys, so yes, you're seeing a lot of green. Like what I mentioned earlier, it really gives off that secret garden vibe, especially when I show you the most exciting part of this house later on. But right now, let me take you on your significantly large anteroom. So an anteroom is an outdoor waiting area and this is amazing. It's shrouded with this vertical slats that is wood laminated and it has accent lightings too similar to the ones that we saw from the facade of the house by the gate. And wow, yes, it's really spacious. And 
by the way, our property is equipped with CCTV cameras and all of the bedrooms have air conditioning units. So now, let's go and check out the rest of the house. So we have a smart um, door lock. Cool. Ooh, let me open it up. Full blast. Yes. Wow, welcome to your beautiful house. So like what I mentioned earlier, this house is amazing and interesting in the very unusual way. So let me show you this part of the house. It's double ceiling or double height ceiling all throughout except for the bedrooms. go through this part so the living area and the open kitchen serves as the heart of the house and I'll be explaining to you later on why it is so and then if you're a big fan of an open floor layout then you're gonna love this house so you have your exposed kitchen right here and then you have your large island counter so this could double again as a breakfast table and this is actually the kids or the children's favorite spot to have breakfast and do their homeworks and just mess around with everyone and yep our um all of the bedrooms and the entire living room and the kitchen area and dining area is equipped with inverter ac units okay and of course let us check out some more of our exposed or show kitchen. So you have a double sink, a movable faucet head. Okay, a lot of storage spaces and more over <clears throat> right above and then right here. So it's soft close mechanism as well. And then by the island counter, you also have more spots to put all of your kitchen stuff. And then, this enclosed area right here actually houses the service kitchen or the auxiliary kitchen. And if you are like Khloe Kardashian and you want like a big uh, pantry closet or a closet pantry, then this is a treat for you. So let me open this one. Okay, so this part right here, you could chass this one up by adding um, exposed shelves. And this could be like a dream pantry wherein you could organize your um, grocery stuff that would be very exciting so here what I like about the auxiliary kitchen is they did not leave it looking boring and bare so this one is stylized as if it was a show kitchen in itself so you have your solid surface you have this um, sink and a movable faucet more storage This door leading to the service area and utility area and guys for our staff this um, staff room is just so spacious and then you get to enjoy your very own built-in cabinet with a lot of storage and ta-da! What I love about houses with you know toilet and bath en suite for their helpers is because they don't need to go out of the house anymore or share it with someone else or maybe with a guest or a visitor so here you get to enjoy yours nice right okay so after the enclosed service kitchen and our staff room now let's hop into where the dining area is this area can actually fit a dining table for 10 to 12 people so again if you like um, entertaining or inviting guests and visitors over so you are not gonna run out of space so you have this entire space to entertain everyone nice right and then of course you have the perfect artwork hovering above your dining table so look at this beautiful um, industrial looking um, light fixture so guys if you're a big fan of this one or you want something uh, that looks like this let us know in the comment section 
you're gonna love it. We're loving it so much. So now, after the dining area, the kitchen, I'm gonna be showing you the first bedroom here on the first floor. So come on in, it's already open for us. All four bedrooms on the first floor are actually located or situated in all four corners of the house. And you know, you can tell us in the comment section why you think the builder or the owner or the seller of the house thought of it that way. So let us know in the comment section. So here, follow me as we check out the toilet and bath. So what I like about this is it has its own mini walk-in closet. So you have your storage and overhead storage. And then, even if it's a regular bedroom, you get to enjoy an extra large counter housing your sink. And then you have an extra large vanity mirror. Ta -da! Perfect for your OOTDs and your selfies. And then here you have your water closet and a large enough shower area enclosed with a glass enclosure. There, nice. It actually has that hotel-like feel. I don't know if it translates in the video, but like what I always say, guys, you have to see it for yourself. So if you wanna view and check out this house, all you have to do is send us a message here on YouTube or on our Facebook and Instagram accounts. Okay, so now the second bedroom would be Hmm, there's actually an access from the inside of the house, but let me use this access door. So this is a heavy duty PVC um, frame for our sliding door, so come out. We're walking on our <laughs> ante room. So this access door, I'm sure you guys did not miss this one. So this is the access door to bedroom number two. So right now, this is dressed up as a, an office or a den, but this can be converted into a bedroom. And what's nice about it is you have that extra large uh, floor to ceiling windows. You have a great view of you know, your carport. <laughs> and then you have a view of your side garden, which is nice, especially waking up in the morning. You have your AC unit. And then this door will actually lead us to what I call the mini foyer coming from bedroom number two. And then on the right is the full bath. So it's not just a powder room, it's a full bath. You have your shower, you have your water closet, your floating sink. And everything that you could possibly need from your toilet and bath. So after that one, let's um, walk through this mini foyer. So you could dress this one up. You have a great um, picture wall. So this could be an art wall as well. You guys agree? Okay, so now that we are back in the heart of the house and why this is considered the heart, it's because all four bedrooms are in the all four corners of a house, right? So I think it's the... I don't know, like uh, the chakra or the feel of the house. So guys, now that we are taking a moment, appreciating the beauty of the living area and how like massive this area looks like. So now, right behind me would be bedroom number three, which is a master bedroom. Come on in. Wow. I love bedrooms with a lot of natural lighting coming in and as you look down okay so all of the flooring element or material in all the bedrooms it's all made of nara wood so primera classe and then you have this cove ceiling you have your recessed lighting for a moody you know night before you go to bed and then you have both um, lighting fixtures hanging on both ends of your bed. So now guys, after the bedroom, let us check out the master toilet and bath with a tub. Nice. Okay, so 
so let's close this one you have a lot of um, storage spaces so you have building cabinet on that side and on this side and then an extra large counter that houses your sink so this is a floating sink you have an even bigger vanity mirror which i love the most and yep you have your electrical outlet on both sides then you have your water closet have your tub so it's enclosed together with your shower so this is quite interesting we don't see this one a lot it's usually are they're usually separated from each other right so guys this is a very spacious um, shower area so I think for reference it could fit one two three four five six seven eight people and another two over here so ten overall <laughs> Okay, but we don't recommend you do that. We just want to show you how spacious this um, shower area is. Okay, so we are done with the master toilet and bath. Now guys, follow me as I show you bedroom number four on the last corner of the house. But okay, since you've seen this one already, let me show you our covered lanai. I was actually planning on showing you this one last after the bedroom but then again oh the breeze is very inviting and I was actually craving for some air and maybe a cold glass of tea or coffee and then someone to talk to so this is a perfect spot for you know those conversations you like to make with your friends that you missed so much especially during the pandemic so this is the perfect time to invite them over after you purchase this house. Great, right? Going back inside the house to check out the last bedroom on the first floor. Let's go. Nice. Okay, all of the bedrooms are nicely spaced with ample um, storage area. So right there you have your built-in cabinet. You have your tray ceiling and then I'm also a big fan of track lighting because it adds flair to the room and you could actually move the bulb or the light head or headlight. So yep. And now coming inside the toilet and bath. So let me scooch right inside the shower area so you have more space to show them the house. So yes, this is your toilet and bath on the bedroom number four. So you have everything that you need. You have your shower head. You have your vanity area, floating sink, a cabinet to house all of your detergents and toiletries so they won't go missing. And then let's close this one. And now, I'll be inviting you guys to the second floor with the greatest surprise of this house let's go wow i'm super excited guys and let me just tell you how i love footlights especially when you're walking down the stairs at night you guys agree yeah okay so before we check out the rest of what the second floor has in store for us let me just take a quick peek at what's happening on our living area so here we have our gigantic um, viewing glass so hello there everyone <laughs> all right so after that one I'll be showing you the full bath on the second floor so here it is it's not just a powder room so you get to enjoy your shower and there's a bedroom waiting for us and now I'm super excited to show you the bedroom that will lead us to the greatest surprise of this house let's go Wow and again, it has this gigantic glass for viewing and looking at what's happening on the first floor. So again, you have your, your mattress, you have your track lights, and you have one, two, three, four built-in closet doors. And now guys, okay, let me just lift this one up. So you get to have a great view of what I'm gonna show you. Nice, right? But it 
doesn't end there. Let's go and check it out. Wow, this is significantly large. It's immensely spaced. One of the biggest balcony slash viewing deck ever. So now let's go and explore this one. So from this vantage point, you have a great view of the beautiful sunset and the greens all around you. And then yes, you can hear the barking dogs. So if you're, you know, you have a dog or you have a pet, then that would be music to your ears. And so yes, wow. So you get to enjoy also the breeze that Manila Southwoods has to offer you. The quiet, the peace, the security, and this, again, gigantic space of a balcony and viewing deck. So come on guys, I think you could actually fit how many people here? A hundred, yes? Yes now, okay, a hundred people here. I think you can host a Mardi Gras party and then your friends would be on this part of the house and your other friends would be on the other side and you won't be, you know, distracting or interrupting each other's activities. Wow, this is amazing, guys. Let me know in the comment section if you've seen a house that has a balcony or a viewing deck as massive as this one. Okay, so for me, this is a first and it's really exciting. I'm so happy that I get to experience this one with you all watching. All right, so guys, we are done with the great surprise. So later on after the shooting of this video, me and the team will be enjoying ourselves lounging over here in the balcony and viewing deck. So for us right now, I'll be inviting you again to go to the first floor and let's chit chat some more. Let's go. Here we go again, guys. Thank you so much for following me downstairs. So what are we gonna do? Let's do a quick recap of the property details. So this brand new property sits on a 480 square meter lot area with a total floor area of 357 square meters with five bedrooms, a beautiful lush garden, two to three carports, and of course, a sizable viewing deck and balcony. Now, before I let you all guys go, please don't forget to click subscribe to AV Properties' official YouTube channel. And of course, don't forget to ring that bell so you get notified whenever we drop our fresh videos here on YouTube. You can also check us out on Facebook and on Instagram. It's at AV Properties underscore official. And if you wanna see more of our property listings all you have to do is head on over to www.avpropertiescorp.com for the rest of our property listings my name is apple grace and once again thank you so much for staying with us up until this point of the video and guys we want to see you on the next ones so bye for now